Hey, bro. What's up? <laughs> uh, not much, yes. You know, we haven't had a customer in days, and at this point, I don't know how we're gonna make ends meet. Bro, your food's amazing. We just need to let people know that it exists, that's all. You know, it's not that simple. Times are tough, you know, and I thought by this age I'd have a successful restaurant. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I failed you and mom. Leo, you didn't fail anyone. The restaurant business is tough, and you know, the economy is always changing, it's super unpredictable. And your worth isn't determined by the success of the restaurant. Yeah, I know, I just, you know, I just wanted to provide a good life for us, and I feel like I'm falling short. No, success isn't determined by money or fame. It's about doing what you love and putting your heart into something. And you've done that with this. You've done that with your cooking. I mean, I've seen how much happiness you bring to people. If I can't keep the restaurant open. It's not about the restaurant. It's about you and your passion. So we can just find other ways to share your cooking, you know? And remember, no one's worth is determined by the results of their work. It's determined by your integrity and your dedication. You really believe that, don't you? Absolutely. And I believe in you, Leo. But you gotta believe in yourself. We'll get through this together. You know, I appreciate you saying that, I, I really do, but the reality is the bills need to be paid and we need this restaurant to succeed to pay them. I get that. And I think we have everything we need right here. I mean, we have good food. People just need to get to know you and your food. That's it. But how are they able to do that when no one is willing to come in and try our dishes? Well, what if I showed the world just how incredible your food is? Why don't I make some social media content and just post what your food is about? You really think that'll work? Absolutely. I mean, we live in a digital age now. All we need is just to get a little buzz to get people through the door. I don't know, yes. You know how I am with technology. You know, but, but I am willing to try anything to save this place. We got this, Leo. And don't worry, I will be supporting you every step of the way, so. You know, when we moved to America, my one dream was to build something I would be proud of, to make something of myself. And you will. I promise. You have it in yourself. You have the power to keep your dream alive, and, and you have the power to make all of us proud, even Mom. I'm already happy and proud because of you and your support. I'm, I'm, I'm lucky to have you as my sister. Ew, bro. Okay, don't get emotional on me. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, let's just, let's save the restaurant, okay? What do you say? Let's do it. Yeah. Okay, Leo, just hold it right there for just a little longer, okay? Yes, yeah, this is ridiculous. My hands are cramping up and I read those... Leo! Yeah, I really don't see how this is going to help the restaurant. Just trust me, okay? Just, look, just raise one hand and stand on one leg and just hold it still. Talk Just into this. do it. Yes. Yes, this is getting to be a little bit okay, too much, all right? Hold it. Just hold it. Just, just. Leo! Oh my gosh, you almost had it. Yes, this, this is getting to be a little bit too much, all right? My back isn't going to be able to take much more of this. Okay, I know, Leo, but you have to believe me, okay? This is going to get the views. I mean, the latest TikTok trend. Look, if we get our name out there, they're going to follow us. <sighs> like, I, I don't know, yes. I just, I kind of feel like a clown. I, I know. I'm, look, I'm sorry, Leo. I didn't mean to make you feel that way. So let's just try a different approach. Let me roll the camera again, and then why don't we just take it from there. Just tell us about what makes the food special and about this restaurant, OK? I guess I could do that. No balancing? <laughs> no balancing. Oh. Just look into my camera and introduce yourself. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Um, yeah, hi, um, my name is Leo and I am the owner of Roselli, a restaurant on um, uh, Sixth and Hawthorne. We, we specialize in- <laughs> Okay, in cut. Leo, no. Look, if we're gonna do this, we need more passion, okay? More energy, something that feels genuine. Just take a deep breath. Okay, and let's try again. Okay. Okay, go. My name is Leo, and 
This is my restaurant, Rosalie. It's named after my mother, her loving memory. Uh, we came to this land of opportunity with dreams as fast as the ocean. But life had other plans. Our mother left this world way too soon, leaving my sister and I to navigate the complexities of a foreign culture on our own. And suddenly we weren't not just an immigrant family striving for a better life, we were a family of two trying to chase our dreams. I found solace in the kitchen, turning sorrow into something beautiful. Cooking became my lifeline, a way to preserve the memories of our mom through the flavors that danced in our home. My passion for food, for creating memorable dishes, it became a legacy of our family. There's something magical about a family gathered around the table, sharing stories and laughter over a meal. In those moments, I felt my mom's spirit urging me to press on. So this restaurant became my mission, a tribute to a life we once shared and a future I wanted for us. So when you dine in our restaurant, I hope you get the same feeling you would sitting at our family dining table. Leo, that was beautiful. Thanks, yes. It's all true. <clears throat> you, you think that, that would work? I, I, I was just speaking from the heart. I think it's gonna do more than just work. I actually think our audience will be really able to feel how genuine the message was. Let me just go edit it, okay? I'll, I'll be right back and I'll post it. Yeah. What? what? What is it? The video that we made. You know, the one that we put on the internet? Uh -huh. It has over 50 million views on TikToks and it just keeps climbing. What? That, that's incredible. I know. And everyone, I mean, is commenting and they're saying, we want to try the restaurant. We can't wait to see what you have. This could be it. Excuse me. You're Leo, right? Um, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Leo. <laughs> What an incredible atmosphere you got here. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, what brings you to my humble place? Oh, well, I was scrolling on TikTok and I heard about your remarkable story, Leo. A son who founded a restaurant in remembrance of his mom. It's touching, inspiring, and exactly the kind of story our viewers love. Um, my story? Yeah, I'm John, a producer at the Cuisine Network. We're always on the lookout for unique narratives and yours caught our attention. Your passion for food and the story behind this place? It's something special. The Cuisine Network. Ooh, what would you want with my story? Well, Leah, we want to offer you a contract. A show that dives into your journey, the flavors you create, and the love that you've poured into this restaurant. We want to call it Flavors of Resilience. A, a show? For, for real? Absolutely. Your story resonates with people. The struggle, the love, and of course, the delicious food. We believe it could inspire a lot of people, Leo. What do you say? I, I, I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, take your time, all right? Think about it. We'll be here, ready to help you share you and your sister's story with the world. <laughs> this means more than you can imagine. I, I started this restaurant to honor my late mom and to provide for, for us. If this show can inspire others and keep Resilius memory alive, then let's, let's do it. Fantastic, Leo. Welcome to the Cuisine Network family. We'll schedule a meeting to discuss the details, but I have a feeling Flavors of Resilience is going to be something truly special. <laughs> Thank you, John. I'm ready for this new chapter. Great. Here's my card. I'll see you and your sister hopefully very soon to talk about the next steps. <sighs> This, this is amazing. I know, it's amazing. It's, it's thanks to you, Jess. To me? What do you mean? Well, you were the one who suggested we put our story on social media. Oh, that, yeah. I just put your food out there and I let people see how amazing it was. It was more than that, yes. Your idea saved the place. I just can't thank you enough. You don't have to thank me. We're siblings, we're family. And you've always worked so hard to provide for me. 
You deserve all the success in the world. Thank you, sis. But it's not just about the restaurant. It's about you. You've always been there for me, even when the times were tough. And I just can't express how much I appreciate you. And I appreciate you too. I mean, you've supported me in literally everything I've done. And I just wanted to support you too. You've done more than support, yes. You've given me hope. This restaurant and you means so much to me. Well, Leo, it looks like our collaboration worked. The restaurant's gonna make it, and we did it together. Yes, we did. And I wouldn't have had it any other way. Thank you, yes, for everything. Thank you, Leo, for always being there for me and for always working so hard to provide for us. I love you. I love you too, sis. <laughs> <laughs>